Tuesday, March 19th. Happy day, guys. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. We had a very successful day. It has been crazy. I think one of the main things I talk a lot about here on the channel is productivity. How do you get more stuff done? And I'll tell you, and I'll say it time and time again, if you want to get more stuff done. At least it's helped me a lot. Hopefully it'll help you. You plan your day in advance. So talk to Ben Scalzo this morning. He looks like he's going to be coming into the program, going to be doing multifamily. We got one of our students, Lee, who's trying to negotiate a 640 unit storage facility. If we're able to make that happen, we're definitely going to be flying out. So hopefully you guys are going to start to see us do more stuff on the go. I'm implementing a VA in our personal business. Going to be calling listings here in Phoenix. So I'll have some more like in-person appointment stuff during my vlogs. I think you guys are really going to like, as well as us getting our podcast together by next week. So we're going to be setting up a studio downstairs. Our mastermind is here in town, 5th, 6th, and 7th. So if you guys want to join, the mastermind tickets are five grand. But if you buy here in the next couple of weeks, it's four grand. It's lifetime access. Literally, you can join virtually, in person. You can come whenever. We normally do one of these masterminds every quarter. Excited for that because we got to get the whole place set up here at the house. But nonetheless, great call. Sales accountability, office hours, prospecting. Then David was in the office for the first time. He was out all last week. He had to go to North Carolina to check on one of his Airbnbs. He got back in. We met on a lot of stuff, especially on like the mentorship side that we're fixing and some of the stuff that we're changing inside of the program to make it better, all the things. And then we spent time today going through basically the plan for the mastermind, like what kind of things we're we doing on a daily basis. Outside of us negotiating these 640 units for Lee, we have quite a few cash deals that are in the works. So Chris Cruz got his deal sold. Told you guys about that yesterday. We have Leah who's going to be getting her deal in Atlanta. Once that's done, we'll get that thing assigned. And we had, which I think this is an interesting, interesting lesson for the day's vlog. Build relationships and never burn bridges. I'm a big believer in never burning bridges because you never know. People do you wrong and that's like, great, thank you for letting me know who you are. I don't need to think like, you're the worst person ever. Never ever want to talk to you again. You don't exist. Like, whatever, move on with your life. Do something else. Sometimes I know it's hard to let go and forgive people, but people are going to be people, right? Don't let that affect you moving forward. But burning bridges is one of the worst decisions that you could do because you never know how that's going to come back around. I got two deals that came through in Scottsdale from an agent who had properties that were under creative finance and the buyers couldn't perform. Why did they get brought to me? Is because I started digging a well a couple years ago with a few different title companies, right? These title companies I've had relationships with, this one in particular, for five years. She's known me. I've closed files with her. Some files that I haven't been able to close. Like, guys, this is real estate investing. Very often, do you have a deal that, for whatever reason, doesn't work out? Title problems, cash to close, whatever. The property is in the conditions you thought it was in. There's many different reasons why a file could fall through. And guess who that affects the most? That affects the title company. It affects the title rep. Because guess what? They just did all this work, and now they're not going to get paid. So if you have the reputation of canceling files, then no title company is going to want to work with you. So you have to always, no matter what, if something doesn't work out or if it does, you want to keep a great relationship with your title reps because you never know how that's going to come back around. So you should also have a solid network in your business that you're constantly digging a well. You don't want to wait till you're thirsty to start digging the well, right? You want to dig it way ahead of time because when that time comes, you're going to be so grateful that you did. So nonetheless, it's all about moving forward, sharing with you guys an open, honest way. Tomorrow, or by the time you watch this video, we are doing a deal-a-thon live in our YouTube channel and in our Facebook group. So if you guys want to see us call agents, negotiate cash and creative deals, you should definitely tune in to the Deal-a-thon where if you missed it and you're just watching this video, go back and watch the Deal-a-thon. It's always a ton of fun. They're like eight hours long. So watch when you can, but we try to make it action packed. So we're actually calling and doing stuff that's going to move everyone's business forward and we're having quality conversations. But nonetheless, making moves. Tomorrow is going to be Deal-a-thon. We'll love to have you there. And of course, you may have seen our shorts here on the channel or maybe the stuff on Instagram or maybe the stuff on Facebook or maybe you haven't seen any of our stuff. I'm here to tell you, Saturday is our foreclosure masterclass, showing you all the different ways that you can work with someone in foreclosure so you can get paid and you can help the homeowner who needs to sell their house. There are ways that you can create win-win scenarios. I wanna show you all of them. So Saturday, foreclosure masterclass, 12 p.m. Eastern, which is now 9 a.m. Arizona, 12 p.m. Eastern. The link, if you wanna to go to noflufflive.com or the link is in the description slash comment section below, join us, it's gonna be fun. So. If you're not already opted in, maybe consider doing so. I think it'd be very valuable. My whole job is to make this channel and the stuff that we do here on our live streams and our Facebook group the most valuable thing you could be a part of this year. So we'll continue on that quest. Join us Saturday. And thank you for watching this edition of the vlog. We'll see you next time. Bye.